this question what were you thinking about what what was what, what was going to your head when you asked me this question really what was going to your head hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your very first time here hi what's up come in there's enough space for you today i'm going to be doing the question tag q a so i asked my friends on whatsapp on instagram like i send them dms and i think i called like three or four of them and ask them to ask me questions that i'm going to be answering here so i got a quite a number of questions but i narrowed everything down to 35 so i'm going to be showing you because i wrote them down so these are questions here see here see here 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 yeah that's it so four pages of questions let's see how many we're going to answer so let's start so the first question is where are you from i recently did a video um Igbo girl tag the video is on my channel i'm going to leave a link and that video i said where i was from i'm from anambra state and the second question is, what school did you finish from? I, fin I finished from National Open University of Nigeria in Lagos State. The third question is, um, what are you most grateful for? Uh, I'm most grateful for life, family, good people around, you know, the little things we have that we take for granted. I'm grateful for all of these things that actually make you keep living. That's what I'm grateful for. Favorite restaurants. I don't have a favorite restaurant. Uh, off the top of my head now, I can't think of any restaurant, but I know that I like uh, Sabo Lagos. And there's another one. I can't really remember. I think it's something atmosphere or something. It's a rooftop restaurant. Yeah, so that's that's the one I can remember now. This whole pandemic and stay at home has made me forget all the good um, restaurants I like. So, most memorable day, my most memorable day, ah, I don't think I have one now. None is coming to my head. Maybe it just hasn't happened. Something hasn't really hit me and made me feel, oh, this is my most memorable day. Good things though. But I have some bad things, bad experiences that I will never forget. Like, never forget. Never forget. Like, the day my dad came to um, beat me in my school, my secondary school, I will never forget that day. But, yeah. Things that will make me happy, yet to come. Yet to come. What's on your bucket list? Uh, I want to travel girls trip to maybe Dubai or, you know, just fun places only girls what makes you happy uh what makes me happy having loved ones having good people around you um food money love you know things like that make me happy um what are your hobbies my hobbies things i like to do <sighs> unfortunately or oh, fortunately fortunately and unfortunately Things I like to do involve money. For instance, I like to travel. Yeah, I love to travel and see new things, new places, but it will involve money. <laughs> How many guys have you dated? Mm. <laughs> three guys. Just three guys. What? your idea of a dream date uh my idea of a dream date fancy dinner in a fancy restaurant fancy place fancy everything yeah that's if you want to be uptight and up. but if you want to maybe loosen up um maybe ice cream dates and when i when i say ice cream i don't mean regular ice cream like real ice cream like <sighs> ice cream dates you know just chit chat in a nice place and yeah all that how many kids do you want to have three kids two guys and a girl two boys and a girl 
Why are you so kind? Thank you. Somebody asked me that. Thank you. <laughs> Have you had sex before? <laughs> what was on your mind when you asked me this question? Like the person that asked me this question, what were you thinking about? What what was what, what was going through your head when you asked me this question? Really? What was going through your head? Huh? Let's move on. <laughs> What's your ideal man? Hmm, I want a man that's loving. He must love everything around him. Must love God. Must love people. Must love me. Must love. Must love children. Must love hustle. Must love. He must just be a loving person. Uh, I want somebody that is uh, reasonable, considerate, reasonable. He must have sense. He must like. He must be. He must be. Be intelligent. Yeah. Uh, I want someone that makes me laugh, obviously. Uh, I want somebody that I can just be comfortable around, be free around, be myself around, you know. Uh, I want someone that's hardworking, yes, very important. I don't want someone that has like a laid back view of life. Like, ugh, okay, if nothing works, then fine. No, I want someone that pushes hard, that knows that, oh, I have people that I have to take care of. Yeah, so that's the kind of man I want. If you have to relocate, what country will it be? If I have to relocate, I'll go to maybe America, New York. Yeah, I can live there. Do you believe there is a God? <laughs> Do you believe there's a God? And what makes you believe this? Assuming there's no religion. So this person wants to know if I believe there's a God. And assuming there's no religion. Why would I still believe there's a God? Of course, the fact that I'm living and the things I see around me makes me feel that, oh, there's a supernatural being somewhere that must have put all this in place. So religion or not, yes, I believe there's a God. Have you ever broken someone's heart? Or has your heart been broken? And how did you feel? My heart hasn't been broken before. Maybe I might be sad about some things in relationship, but for you to now break my heart and I'm like, this guy did something very bad to me. It hasn't really happened, and if I focus on what is that, maybe I don't know. I don't know how they felt, and I don't know if their heart was broken. What's your backup plan in case makeup doesn't work? Oh, that's a very good question. In case makeup doesn't work, I'll just maybe just. Ah, uh, there's there's so many things I can do. Friends, for instance, I'm doing YouTube. That's like already a backup plan. Uh. I might go into baking because I love to, like, I love, I love the way cakes and pastries and all that are done, dressing and all that. So I might just become a baker if makeup doesn't work. When do you want to get married? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when I feel I'm very ready. Yeah, maybe. Do you see yourself doing makeup in five years? To be honest, it depends because makeup now is not is not the way it used to be. If that makes sense. So I don't know how it's been five years. So it really depends if I still find satisfaction in doing it. Maybe. Do you <laughs> do you have man friend? That's what this person asks. Yeah, I have, I have a couple, I have a couple of friends that are guys, so yeah, I have man friends. What motivates you to get up every morning? The fact that I, I, I don't like the way my bank account is looking, the fact that I can't, I can't work extra hard to have extra money, the fact that I have people I want to see and people I just want to be around, yeah, I have to just wake up every morning. Um, who has influenced you the most? Who has influenced me the most? I feel like you have different people that influences you for different reasons and at different points or parts of your life. So this question is a bit broad, but um, a couple of people have actually influenced me. Yeah, a couple. What is the regret you have had, but it's too late to change now? Mm, maybe starting my YouTube. I would have started my YouTube earlier on. I do. 
at the point where I started, uh, maybe if I would started like three years earlier, I would have, you know, blown. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, yeah, that's it. What have you been up to since the pandemic? Uh, wake up, do chores, pray, eat, sleep, TikTok, thriller, chat, read a few books, work out on some days. Yeah, just basically that. That's what my life has been. Um, why did you start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel, first of all, because I was bored. I just got out of like job like work I wasn't working at that period and I was watching YouTube one day and I was watching um how I, I can't remember the, the lady I was watching and I thought to myself oh I can do this why don't I just start this YouTube thing and I started so I tell it just to you know share makeup um tips and yeah because my channel is basically about beauty so I tell it to just share makeup tips with everybody what's your biggest fear or threat when it comes to the makeup business i was talking about this with my friend uh, and there are two two fears the first fear is the makeup business makeup industry is very saturated very very like choked for lack of a better word everybody's a makeup artist out of 10 girls you can see seven of them are makeup artists the remaining two can do their makeup themselves, so they probably don't need a makeup artist. The other one person is the person that actually needs a makeup artist. So there are so many makeup artists, and your work might not be seen or might be seen by a very small number of people. And the second one is you might not get like enough connect to take you to where you want to be because in nigeria generally any business you need you need a lot of connection to grow so you might not have that connection to take you to where you want and people really don't want to help that's that's a fact people might not want to help you especially when you're just up and coming so where do you see yourself in five years in five years i see myself alive happy fulfilled with a happy family thriving business and yeah just good very good in five years yes who is your best friend <laughs> i feel like this is so secondary school this is like a secondary school question i feel the more you grow up the more the more you grow older i feel the only people you should are allow in your space like your, you might know a lot of people, but the only people you should align your in your space are your best people. So I can't say, okay, this is my best friend. I like everybody that I've allowed in my space for different reasons. So, and they are not maybe they are not like they're like six or five of them. So they are all special to me in different ways, in unique ways. I can't say this person is my best friend. If you get what I mean, if you could change one thing that has happened what will it be i'll change the situation we had we are now i almost said ha <laughs> i'll change the situation we are now and yeah everybody just go goes back to their normal lives makes money the hustle go back to your hustle just don't stay at home this period and everybody has died you know you won't die so have you ever cried in a movie and if yes what movie uh, no, I have never cried in a movie. I was close to tears when I was watching um, When They See Us, but I don't think I cried. I didn't cry. No, I didn't cry. Number 34. Oh, we've answered a lot of questions. What kind of phone do you use? I currently use... <laughs> what kind of question is this? <laughs> I currently use an iPhone 8 Plus, so if you want to help my life and buy me another iPhone, please let me know. Let me know. Is your favorite color brown? Uh, I think this person is asking because maybe he has seen me with a lot of browns, but my favorite color is not brown, but then I love brown, so maybe it's my second favorite color. My first favorite color is black, then brown. Oh, okay, black and brown, yeah. So these are all the questions. If I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I just wanted this video to be, you know, short and stuff. So that's all I have to tell you. That's all I have to talk to you about in this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Let your friends know about this channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.